All right, so we've already learned what a class selector is, and we've also used element selectors, which are when we simply put the letters corresponding to the element in our CSS file. Now it's time for another type of selector that's very important, which is the ID selector. Notice that in our HTML, I have nothing more than a span, but in our styles, I have a hash button. This hash, this number sign here, essentially means that this element is an ID. If I hover over the selector with my mouse cursor, notice that it will tell me that it's an element with the ID button, basically. Button 1. So what do we do? We simply copy the name of this ID, come over here to my span, and I put an ID with the same name. But before that, let's run the button to see what happens and notice that it should look like a button, and indeed it looks like a button when it has the class. I add it here, hit run, and there it is. If it has the button class, it looks like a button. If not, it doesn't, which is perfect. That's what we want. So let's hit the run test button to see what happens, and there it is. Everything passed without any problems. The important thing here is to remember that elements can be given an ID. And an interesting point is that there can't be two elements with the same ID. The ID must not be repeatable, basically. Perfect. Let's continue with the next exercise.